Hey guys, you're here with MTG Lifelink. Adam here, gonna open another booster box of Shadows over in the Strad. Alright, guys, so last time, opened some good stuff. But uh, apparently, my knife doesn't like to open these booster boxes. But uh, we always end up getting them. Let's see if we can get any of uh, the Triple Mythic packs. I know I keep saying it every time I open the fat pack or a booster box, but. I've never had it happen. I've only seen videos of it. No, here we go. So let's see. Maybe we can make it happen. 36 packs. Let's see what we get. I'm just gonna go straight to the uncommons and rares. Yeah, we've opened so many of these already. Indulgent Aristocrat, Murderer's Axe, Graph Mall, Epiphany at the Drown Yard. Go. It's gonna separate some things. I'll keep the rares and foils out here, and I'll put everything else aside. Markrut Necropod, Epitaph Golem, Gloom Widow, Drown Your Temple. I actually cannot stand that card. In my sealed pool at GP Barcelona, I actually opened two of those. So it kind of made my pool not that great. Yeah. The good thing is, uh, Breakneck Rider, Startled Awake, Tenacity, ooh, that's a mythic. Wildfield Scarecrow, Veteran Cathar, Declaration in Stone. The good thing is though, in my sealed pool, I did have a couple of flip rares to kind of make up for it. Yeah, straight through. Town Gossip Monger, Reckless Scholar, Tenacity, Lightning Axe, Season's Path. Our second mythic of the box. How are you guys liking the set? Hermit of Natternals, Erdwall Illuminator, Open the Armory, Inner Struggle, Death Cap Cultivator. Okay, so we're off to a good start. I just can't wait to just keep playing. And I'm trying to make my new standard deck since rotation happened. A Cursed Witch, Pick the Brain, Reckless Scholar, Gibbering Fiend, Brain in the Jar. It's okay. And we have a foil, Asylum Visitor, a foil rare. Boom. That's how we do it. Let's move these over for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. One thing good about this set is I can finally finish my modern werewolf deck, since there's a lot of things going on. Neglected Heirloom, Gist's Bidding, Highland Lake, Briar Bridge Patrol, Diagraph Colossus, Zombies Left and Right. So my modern deck can finally be finished. I build mostly like fun decks, not super competitive decks, but with the new standard, that might change. Uninvited Geist, Liliana's Indignation, Runaway Carriage, Pack Guardian, Port Town, Dual Land, always happy with one of those. A lot of people don't like them, but you know, a land's a land. The Spectral Shepherd, Sinister Concoction, Weirding Wood, Invocation of Saint Draft. I opened two of these in a draft once. Drafts don't end up going so well because of the other cards in my deck, but once you put both of them out, you know, it's kind of hard to stop. Thing in the Ice, very nice. Ongoing Investigation, Not Forgotten, Inner Struggle, and Devil's Playground. Sometimes you gotta play with the devil. Only one foil so far, but I have not been disappointed with this box yet. Essence Flux, Nahiri's Machinations, Geist Blast, Angels of Deliverance. Very nice. Let's see what else we're getting with this box. 
about a third way through, I believe. Maybe a little bit more. Aberdant Researcher. Pale Rider of Trostad. There's a foil here. Pour over pages. Geist Blast. Gold Knight Castigator. Another mythic. Our third mythic of this box. And a Blood Mad Vampire. It's the common. That's very nice. See, let's see what we get. Maybe a Planeswalker? Duskwatch Recruiter, Olivia's Bloodsworn, Magnifying Glass, Groundskeeper, Inexorable Blob. Just oozes out with awesomeness. A 3 3 for 3 is not bad at all. Then you get the Delirium aspect where you just keep getting 3 3 oozes as long as you attack. Kindly Stranger, Biting Rain. Forsaken Sanctuary, Obsessive Skinner, and Ever After. And our foil, Devil Thorn Fox. Okay. No. Foil commons aren't that bad, you know. EDA, if you want to make your deck look a little nicer. No. Always prefer foil rares and mythics. Or lands. Abyssinian Missionary, Silver Strike, Epitaph Golem, Briar Bridge Patrol, Harness the Storm. What type of decks do you guys uh, consider building in standard? Let me know in the comments. I'm, uh, I'm thinking blue, black zombies, or red, blue, or red, black um, vampires, village messenger, trail of evidence, reaper of the flight, moon silver, ravenous bloodseeker, burn from within. I'm not considering a werewolf deck for standard. I might end up doing it, but right now it's not in the plans. Uh, I like this modern deck. A lot. Even though I can still use a Tarkus command in standard, yeah, I just don't feel it. Pious Evangel, Rise from the Tides, Griff's Boon, Dance with the Devils, another Diagraph Colossus. And we have a foil, Vessel of Parmenesia. Okay, so we have a, couple, we have a, a double rare, the Diagraph Colossus. Olivia's Bloodsworn, Ongoing Investigation, Dissension in the Ranks, and Sin Prodder. 3-2 for 3 with Menace. Nice already. I've noticed in this set is some cards are very well cost, uh, priced, you know, mana cost. F you know, 3-2 three, for 3 with Menace is pretty solid. Then, you know, the other factors, Pale Rider of Trostad, Skeleton Key, Moonlight Hunt, Anguish Unmaking. Very nice. Then you have a lot of other creatures and spells that I feel I'm just a little bit over cost, maybe just to make up for it. But just in general, it's just a thought I've had. No. A rare Gaia Reach Bandit into Vildin Pack Alpha. So flip rare, very nice. Behind the scenes, Sinister Concoction, Magnifying Glass, Eerie Interlude. Every time I see this card, I just think of Interlude, the, you know, party town, the party place to go. Let's see. Hermit of the Natter Knowles. Open the Armory. Tooth Collector. Beautiful art. Crawling Sensation. And Jace, the first Planeswalker of the box. Another Mythic. I think that's the third Mythic or fourth of this box. I can't really remember, but it's more than enough, and I'm very happy for it. Lamb Hold Pacifist, Compelling Deterrence, Humble the Brute, Spiteful Motives, Epiphany at the Drownyard. Let's put that with the Blue Jace. But, no, that Jace, I really don't see it going to get a lot of play until next rotation. Skin Evasion, Pour Over the Pages, Silver Strike, Stone Quarry, Eerie Interlude. Party time. Yeah. At least until Origins rotates out, I'm not gonna... I don't really feel that it's gonna be played, unless in Limited. It's essentially the blue of Nixilis, and so Lickness doesn't get played that much, but this will probably get played more. 
heir of Falcon Wrath, Creeping Dead, Dread, Groundskeeper, Highland Lake, Second Harvest, and there's a foil. Epitaph Golem, a foil uncommon. So we have a foil rare, foil uncommon, and three foil common. So a foil mythic, and would be set. Let's just straight through to the uncommons. Neglectic Heirloom. Beautiful card. When it transforms, it's amazing. Indulgent Aristocrat, Manic Scribe, Dance with the Devils, Confirm Suspicions. Yo, if you're suspicious, better confirm it. Couple of packs left. Yeah, Thraven Gargoyle, Ghoul Steed, Haunted Cloak, Gloom Widow, Game Trail. And we have a foil, Rise from the Tides. The Game Trail is the dual line I've opened the most, to be honest. I think I already have uh, six of them, just between uh, sealed events, drafts, and just pre-releases. Here we go, sorry. Paranoid Parish Blade, Woodland Stream, Cult of the Waxing Moon, Flame Blade Angel. We have a foil island. Okay. Yeah. I wish it was the old, you know, full art lands that were foil still, but you know, because those make everything nice. Even on a financial value, they're nice. But you know, what are you gonna do? Harvest Hand, Manic Scribe, Bound by Moon Silver, Stenzia Masquerade, Drock Skull Cavalry. Still haven't opened an Arlen or an Avacyn. Two main cards I want to open. Maybe in the next few packs we can get there. Let's see. Duskwatch Recruiter, Elusive Tormentor, Flip Rare, Beautiful, Ghoul Steed, Invasive Surgery, Encourageable Youth. Welcome to the Fold. I've been welcomed to that Fold many times in this box. Fleeting Memories, Paranoid Parish Blade, Mad Prophet, and Second Harvest. This is five packs after this one, if I'm not mistaken. You think we can get an Avacyn and an Arlen, guys? Automotive Gloom, Stitch Wing Scab, Woodland Stream, Ovenwald Mysteries, Wolf of Devil's Breach. Another mythic! Just lots of mythics in this box, guys. I guess it makes the title easy. You know, Shadows over Innistrad Booster Box, Massive Mythics, Pious Evangel, Reaper of Moon Silver, Stone Quarry, Veteran Cathar, and Audric Lunark Marshall. Had him in my seal pool once. Beautiful. And with Elusive Tormentor, actually. Everyone gets hex proof, indestructible, plus whatever my other creatures have. It just makes it very nice. Kessig's Forge Master, Pick the Brain, Foul Orchard, How Pack Resurgence, Triska Decaphobia. You have an emblem. I kind of just want 13 Triska Decaphobias just because it's Triska Decaphobia. And you know, I probably won't even ever play it unless it's a fun deck that's built straight around it. But never know. Toppelgeist, Rise from the Tides, Uldric, Ulrich's Kindred. Prize Amalgam. It's a giant stack of commons and uncommons off the screen. And on the other side of the screen is just massive booster packs. Boosters, you know, the plastic. Daring Sleuth, Drownow, Corpse Trawler, Bound by Moon Silver, Benevolent Whispers, and Devil's Playground. Okay, guys. So, final pack. Let's get the Triple Mythic, Avacyn, Arlen, and something else. Really don't care what the other Mythic is, but since I haven't opened an Arlen or an Avacyn, and they're both flips, I'm just really, really be excited if that happens. Let's take it kind of slow. 
Creeping Dread, Fleeting Memories, Oryx Kindred, Soren. So it didn't happen, but we have another mythic. Just an incredible box, guys. An incredible box. Let me get this out of the way. I'm going to do a recap. I'm going to count the mythics and the rares and just see what's going on because I forgot the number of mythics we opened, but it's way too many for a normal box. Be right back. So this was an amazing box, guys. We did get our 36 rares. But then we have a total of five mythics. One Soren, one Jace, a Gold Knight Castigator, a Startled Awake, and a Wolf of Devil's Breach. It's insane. One of the rares is Foil, the Asylum Visitor. And on top of all that, we still have six Foil cards. Just an, an amazing set, dude. A Thing in the Ice as one of the rares. Elusive Tormentor. We opened everything. Everything you'd want to open. This box was very well worth it. Um, yeah, if you guys want me to start putting prices and, you know, what it's worth. Did I make money? I'm not opening these for money, but if you guys, are, if you guys like that, let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoy this box. Check out more MTG Life Link. Mike will be opening some boxes soon. And see you next time. MTG Life Link. Adam out.